I'm going to show you how to embed YouTube videos and podcast episodes with PowerPress. Welcome to the Audacity to Podcast, the award-winning how-to podcast about podcasting. Hi, I'm Daniel J. Lewis from the Audacity to Podcast.com. If you're a video podcaster, and sometimes even if you're just combining audio episodes with video episodes with YouTube, you've probably run into this problem of trying to post both your YouTube video and your video episode on your website. This is what it might normally look like inside of PowerPress. Now I'm using my previous episode, five WordPress plugins for faster blogging and podcasting as the example here on a test website of mine. And what you may notice is if you're using the default WordPress behavior with PowerPress, then what it will do, first of all, is it puts the PowerPress player down here at the bottom of the page instead of up at the top. We'll change that along the way. But the main problem that it's doing is we've embedded a YouTube video and our PowerPress podcast episode inside of our post. This is what it looks like. I'm just using the standard embed for YouTube. And this isn't the embed code. This is using the YouTube link and WordPress then takes care of embedding that for me. And for the podcast episode, I'm simply linking to my media file for this podcast episode so I know that it will post the podcast episode. So what's happening is it's putting in both players and resulting in showing me two different video players on the post. So what we want to do is instead of doing this, we want to continue including the YouTube video on the page that way people get the high definition version but we also want to have these links down here to download the episode play it in a new window and for this podcast episode to go out in our rss feed this is really easy to do and there are a couple different ways to do this so the first way that we do this is we need to go into our powerpress settings before we do this let's just tell this to under media appearance to go to above page content. That way it displays our video at the top of the page. But come to the basic settings tab and we've got two options that you should look at. One is the embed field option and the other is display player and links options. I'm going to enable both of these right now, but under this embed field option, you notice that you have this new option, replace player with embed do not display default player if embed is present for episode. I'll show you what this looks like. It creates a new field for us in our podcast editor. So when I go to my post and edit this post, modify my podcast episode, we get this new field here for media embed. Now, what I did is first I enabled this field. Then I also told it that if I put anything in this field, to not display the podcast player. So what that means is that this player right here with the little blueberry icon would not display if I put any kind of embed code into here. But this cannot be just a simple link to your YouTube or Vimeo video like that. That won't work because that's not the actual embed code. What you would have to do is go to YouTube and get the embed code for this specific video. And we can do that by visiting the URL, click on share, choose embed, and then we have various options here that we can choose for our embeddable videos. But we can grab this code, take it back to WordPress and paste that in there. And then what that will do is if we put this embed code in, it would display the podcast player and the YouTube video, which is loaded by the embed instead. So I'll update this and let you see the update. We'll refresh our page. And now you see this bigger video up here is the one that was embedded with my embed code. And there's the podcast episode. This lower video is resulting in this link for our YouTube video. But the problem is that you have to do this multi-step process in order to work with it that way, where you are having to go to YouTube, find that embed code, and then come back and paste it in, when you may want to have a much more smooth workflow for posting your videos. 
And there might also be a conflict with some plugins here because depending on your website, if you have a responsive website, you might run into an issue where your automatic embeds will dynamically resize based on the size of the browser. But if you put in these manual embeds like I did with this post where I've got the iframe embed code, that's a manual embed there, sometimes that won't work on websites that are supposed to reflow and resize dynamically based on the size of the browser. And that's where you might want to let WordPress handle the embedding like with this. So that brings me to the second option of how we can do this. Before we do this, let's go ahead and remove our embed code from this, just so it doesn't show up anytime else. Update the post, and then we want to go to our PowerPress settings to try our second option. Go to PowerPress, Basic Settings. Let's disable the embed field options because we're not going to go that route this time, but instead click on Display Player and Links Options. Then you need to pick one of these. It's not good enough just to leave this first option checked. You need to pick one of these options. And the only option that really concerns us at the moment is no player option. So we'll check mark that. And this is on a per episode basis so that we can change whether a player displays for our episodes. Save those options. Then let's go back to our post and edit it. We'll modify the existing podcast episode. Now we have this new option, do not display player. So if I click this, well, let's first look at how our post looks now before we do any changes. So now our post has the Blueberry video up at the top and the YouTube video just below that. So what will happen now is if I click on do not display player and update that, then come over to my page and refresh it, You'll see that now the podcast player, the little blueberry player, no longer displays, but my YouTube video is displaying and just my YouTube video. We can take this a step further because we want to move this podcast play a new window and download options to instead of being above the YouTube video, we want to move that below the YouTube video. Right now, WordPress and PowerPress are set to put that automatically above the content in our post. So it will display above everything else regardless of what content we put in here. But we can manually change where that player displays in our post. And the way that we do that is using the PowerPress shortcode. So that is just by adding a square bracket and typing the word PowerPress, surrounding it with the square brackets. And we are saying manually place the PowerPress player or whatever is associated, whatever options are set for PowerPress, put PowerPress right here instead of being above everything else. So when we update this and refresh our page, you see that now we have our YouTube video here inserted automatically by putting just the URL in here, and that's the way that WordPress handles it. It's called the O-Embed system. And below that, we have the PowerPress podcast player option right here available for us. So that way it is not conflicting at all. People aren't seeing two video players, but they still have the option to download the file or play it in a new window. And you can also enable the embed option for people to share your episode on other posts, but it's not conflicting with the YouTube player here. We can take this one step further if you are the type that you release your video editions on YouTube, but you only put out an audio edition in your RSS feed. So let's come back to this post and instead we will treat this episode as an audio episode. So if I link instead to my MP3, then when I update the post and come back to here and refresh the page, it still looks the same, but now instead of being the video file, it's actually linking to the mp3 file instead. But maybe we want that mp3 to be playable. So that's where we can come back in, and you probably already guessed it, we do want to display the player for this particular episode. So when we display the player for this episode, we have the player manually placed in our post up here just below the YouTube video. So when we come back to our post and refresh it, we see now the YouTube video is there, and our audio player is right below it. So if you come to this post, you have the option of either watching the YouTube video or playing 
the audio episode or downloading the op- audio episode. These principles apply to either video or audio posts if you want to embed one kind of video, but still have the podcast episode downloadable in your RSS feed and on your page. Please like this video and subscribe if it helped you with your podcasting. And if you need more help podcasting, then go to my website, theaudacitytopodcast.com, where I have many past audio and video episodes teaching you how to podcast. I'm also available for one-on-one consulting, web design, podcast cover art design, WordPress consulting, and more. Check it all out at theaudacitytopodcast.com. Now that I've given you some of the guts and taught you some of the tools, it's time for you to go podcast with passion, organization, and dialogue. I'm Daniel J. Lewis from theaudacitytopodcast.com. Thank you for watching.